Hey, yo, Jim Jones, listen. I don't know what your issue with me is, bro. Um, the kid the one called you a snitch, right? Facts is facts, my nigga. I protect you in the interview. I can't stop a nigga on Clubhouse for saying what he gonna say. But uh, that shit on the internet, homie, and any real street nigga know what conspiracy look like. And you gave an order, and that order was carried out. You know what I'm saying? You got gun cases in Virginia. Don't nobody know where they went. The fact that you had to have a nigga from jail call, right? And you on the street, you pussy, my nigga. Thought we was better than that. But since you want to direct it to me and not talk about what that, what that man said and what's on the internet, right? With you talking on the wire tap, lets me know that you are running from something. Because not one time, Jimmy, right, have you addressed what that man said about you. Don't try to redirect it to whack name, my nigga. Let's keep it where it's at. 6 9 who admits to cooperating, said you gave an order on a wiretap to commit a violent act that was carried out. Now, any real street nigga know that's conspiracy. Every nigga from your neighborhood that was tied to this kid is incarcerated but you. I'm gonna call a spade a spade, my nigga, since you wanna make it about me. Now I gotta speak, my nigga. Yo, Jim, the world, the streets, you owe an explanation. Any niggas need to see that paperwork from that gun case you caught, you know what I'm saying, that other state. Because uh, something, it really ain't adding up, my nigga. And let's not forget, Jimmy, this table from the West Coast called you and mail murder and spoke about our disgust for what y'all was doing with 6 9 at that time. You guys went to tell us it was a money play. Y'all was accepting him. It was something y'all had control of. It was y'all business. Could we respectfully stay out of it? So Don Moose on the West Coast, my nigga, we tried to stop it before it broke. So you tell Mel, uh, Mel who calling me out my name, nah, I think the bitch is a nigga like him who's supposed to be in a G nigga, but got controlled by the bag. And you, Jimmy, you should have let that man do his time because me and you on the street, we got each other's numbers. We didn't pull up on each other, and we still could pull up on each other today, my nigga. You call me for all kind of shit when you get to Cali, give me your location and all that. So I'm a little confused, my nigga, on why you want to disturb a man that's doing his time and call yourself, you can't hide behind him, homie. He in prison. You was just on the phone with the homie yesterday. And because he didn't tell you what you wanted to hear, you ain't answering his calls. So, Jimmy, don't redirect the motherfucking shit to whack. 6 9 went on Clubhouse and called you out on something. That's I, definitely, you type in Jim Jones wiretap, right? You are issuing an order to commit violence, my nigga. That's conspiracy. Fuck how you look at it. You need to answer for that, homie. And whatever this gun case niggas don't know you had, you need to answer for that too, my nigga. Focus on that. The slick shit ain't gonna work with me, my nigga. I didn't text you three, four times, called you three, four times, my nigga. But I guess you over there feeling a little nervous. You paying old mail. I know you paying mail. I know you giving him a bag. That's cool. I mean, you know, you're a rapper, my nigga. I get it. You ain't these other niggas that I know from your neighborhood. You're a rapper. But address that, homie. Keep the attention on where it should be. 6 9 said it. Not whack, my nigga. The Jedi mind tricks ain't going to work. Everybody say, Jimmy, we want to know why, how you ducked the conspiracy case, and where the gun case went. 
I'm going to leave it like that. And when I see you, I see you. And whenever you want to call me and send a pin drop like you've done before, Jimmy, if it's that serious, please do, my nigga. I will oblige you.